Hello, World Train 212 here, and the boy, it's not, a time, it's not an unboxing time, eh? It's only been like a week since the last one. Anyway, <clears throat> two new packages arrived for me. I've, I know what he, as I say every time, I have a good feeling what those two are gonna be, so let's just get to it. Um, I, like I, told, I think I said this in the last video, but I did say that I ordered four things on eBay. And then um, two of these things arrived last week, which were the Die Hard and the Alien box sets. And these two are the other box sets I got. So let's see. Um, so there are two um, little um, cardboard um, packages here. They both look identical. Yeah, I mean from yeah, they, do, they are identical. So you know what? Let's go. Let's go. Um, let's make a bit of a uh, gamble a bit and pick which one is the hev the heavier one. I'm gonna pick. Except, hang on. I'm going to guess this one's a heavy one. I don't know, I'm going to make a gamble about this. At least it's less of gambling than um, NBA 2K20 anyway. I do pack these um, Please, they... Oh, I got this. I can see this. Oh, it's Yoshi. I got it. Oof, three. Tucked it tight, in it. Tucked and tight in this. Wow. Should be careful not to damage the uh, damage the uh, thing. Yeah, I got it. Ooh. Well, the packaging is very strong on this one. What's this? Thank you very much for your order. It's just a little message thing. I need to ship from the UK, even though this is a US product. Anyway, Super Mario World, the complete series. And if, that's, if this is the lighter product, then this one's probably going to be the heavier one, then, isn't it? Anyway, yeah, here we go. Super Mario, Bros., Super Mario World, even. The complete series on two discs. And this is actually one of the things I always wanted to have for quite a while. But you know what? Um, actually, I remember there was like a Region 2 version of this from Germany, but, um, but they didn't actually have any extras on it, or plus it came with Captain N, I wasn't really that interested in Captain N that much, or at least I wasn't, not as much as um, the Mario cartoons anyway, because I watched a lot of the Mario cartoons back then, and arguably I still do today, wait, did I just admit that, whatever, anyway, the Super Mario World, the complete series, the collector's edition, sadly this doesn't have the uh, slip cover on it, I don't remember if it did come with one, but this was, this was fairly cheap as well, because um, this was um, only, um, an eater. Is that a word? Uh, this is official. I see, I see the disc says um, made in Mexico on it. I think that, that means. Normally, when they print that on it, I think that means it's official and it's not a bootleg. I hope I hope it's not a bootleg anyway, because. Um, I'm going to make sure the discs are correct and stuff. Let's see, this is a um, complete series. Two discs that join your favorite Mario Brothers. As they, as they continue their adventure in Dinosaur Land, your Princess Toadstool and new friend Yoshi trademark. Watch out, King Koopas and evil Koopalings have made their way to Dinosaur Land and continue to wreak havoc. Yes, it's based on the hit Super Nintendo video game, which is really awesome. This DVD isn't very long, it's only 150 minutes. Um, which means they probably could have fit this on one disc if they wanted to, but, two, but hey, they put it on two instead, because screw it. Bonus features include storyboard to screen, opening title screen, and other stuff. Media D8 checks, because you know, they own Deke now. Let's just um, unseal this because part of it's still broken off. And yeah, this is just. Oh, there's no um, instruction leaflet like there is usually. Oh, look, there's a. Oh, I knew there was something underneath there. I'm gonna have to replace the case now because of this. Anyway, here's disc one. And here's disc two. Of um. My World Complete Series. I think I'm gonna have to replace this case with a clear one because... I don't know, this is a rare case I suppose, but I don't know, it just kind of peeves me off a bit that it doesn't actually have the actual colors um, case on it. And this was sealed, so I imagine this was the... Anyway, here's what it would have looked like beneath it. Get these DVDs and more from End Circle. They have the... Um, all I can see what I... Actually, point to today, it's spoilers, but even though, except not really, because you probably read the title. And also, there's also the Zelda Complete ser Series as well. 
I'm not sure if I should get oh look it's that those that show that everyone hates and I never even seen it and I'm not even sure I want to it because it looks kind of cringy. Anyway, that's um, Super Mario World complete season series even put aside, and I can almost assuredly um I hope that I hope that thing wasn't actually showing too much. Let's move that aside. And this one's going to be the um, I don't know what this is going to be. It's going to be this. Yes, oh, this one has the slip cover on it. Boing. And here's the... Uh, here's the same old message again, saying the exact same thing. This is actually not a bad seller, actually. Because uh, if I'm gonna buy, it, if I'm gonna buy it from, um, thank you very much for order. Reason for return, region code. That's not gonna be a problem for me because, um, actually, before we look into this, I'm gonna check the conditions for the discs and make sure that they are actually um, any good. Oh, they're, they're not too bad actually. Oh, this is region five. I didn't realize. Hmm. And this one's a uh, also region five, uh, but it's a pressed disc, so and it looks and it looks genuine to me. So, oh look, it's me. Anyway, next next DVD we have here is Super Mario Bros. Three, the complete no, the Adventures of Super Mario Bros. Three, the complete series, collector's edition again. This, uh, uh, over five hours, eh? This looks like fun. One thing I hate about this box. This box it looks doesn't look too bad, but the one thing that peeves me off a bit is that um, Mario has his um, this box. This art is recycled, and it's not even used from anything Mario World related. It's taken from um, Super Mario Bros. Super Show DVD. Hang on, I can probably edit it up somewhere. Yeah, Super Mario Bros. Three, the complete series. It's a, it has that American kind of thing where they always have holes for the uh, for the uh, barcode and stuff. Anyway, join Mario and Luigi in this complete series set as they fight to protect the Mushroom Kingdom. But it includes a lot more extras than the um, other one, which is good. But anyway, uh, one thing I hate about uh, Mario Brothers um, DVDs is that they always come with wrong screenshots. This this one isn't too bad because this one has all the screenshots from the right things, I believe. But then this one is this one's just wrong because this one these two are definitely from Mario Three. But then this one's from Mario World for some reason. I don't, I don't know why they did that. And, yeah. Anyway, here's some neat little artwork with King Koopa there and Circle and DHX again. Complete series of Mario Three and Circle. Let's take the slip cover off, and the thing is exactly the same as the uh, slip cover. One thing I find weird is that they don't actually mention what region this is. I'm going to, if I were to make a guess, it's probably going to be region one. Discs, me discs made in Mexico again. I almost mispronounced that. But at least the seal is a bit better conditioned than the other ones, probably because it's been protected by the by the slip cover. White case again, but I think this was originally clear because there's always going to be art beneath it. Yep, here we go. Disc one. Disc one runtime 100 minutes. Disc two. Oh, this is an artwork. So here we go. Disc one has Mario on it. Disc two has a um, Luigi, Luigi on it. And here's disc four with no, disc two, three. Learn to count, Jake, with King Koopa on it. And again, likewise, it's got a different artwork, slightly different artwork this time. Um, but it's mostly kind of the same thing, except the Mario DVDs are different. Game on. These DVDs are actually kind of neat. Hang on, I'm gonna check if the if both Mario DVDs were region no region one. Well, well they are region one. I I'm, I'm gonna check the DVD. That's kind of hard to take out actually. I'm trying my best not to break it. Oh, this one's a DVD nine. I can tell you that. How do I put these back in? You can't, it's, it's kind of difficult to take. Hang on. It never occurred to me to just bend this a bit. Anyway, th disc two, it's another It's another DVD nine. Oh, this one actually was easier to take out than the other discs. It's weird. 
I'm going to guess this one's a DVD5. And I was right. <laughs> so yeah, there's two... Oh. Stupid. Stupid tripod. I hate it. Anyway, this, so this is two DVD9s and two, one DVD5. So here we go. Just take the, put the slip cover back on. So it looks shiny and valuable. It's not, it's not really that much value. It's only like eight euros worth. But you know what? This seller is actually not too bad. I, I tried um, buying something from uh, that different seller. It, I don't know how, how recent they were, but they, they actually didn't... They don't do too bad, actually, thinking about it. Because you know what? They were actually cheap. Well, well, fairly cheap anyway. I don't know. Some stuff they have were expensive, but they were like regular prices for the kind of thing. Get out of the way. But yeah, the, and the shipping was pretty good too. You know what? Um... I think I might actually consider buying, if I ever buy American DVDs, I think that's probably the place I'm going to get them at. Because you know what? They're not boot, these aren't bootlegs, and these aren't, and these, um, th these are not bootleg discs. These are actually, um, official discs made by, um, and they shipped pretty quickly. Well, saying that, it shipped a bit quick, slower than the Die Hard box set a bit. But you know what? I'm actually happy, I'm pretty satisfied with this. So you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna. These are these are a keeper for sure. Anyway, yeah. This is World J Twenty Twelve signing out.